hired them. You know, I, I found a picture of, of, of y'all out front here building a, built a snowman and, and, and Leon's the Wilkerson's in the picture and you and uh, Randy uh, Cullip, yeah. and Lee Daly and Marilyn Eason. Where, where did Lee wind up going? Anybody? Back to, back to uh, Kansas, I think. Did he? He was a great engineer. He was. He sure was. I asked him one day about why, why if I could, that wishbone was my first job in the music business in about 86, 87. Lee came over to engineer and I said, and I'd, I'd been familiar with Lee from him running sound for, for, for Mike McGuire and Jim Seals, you right. know, even before they were Shenandoah. And uh, I'd always go to the booth there and talk to him if I went in and, and uh, he came in. I said, well, who did you learn to engineer from, Lee? He said, well, well, he said, I was learning from Alan Shulman until I figured out he was learning too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He was. Uh, they were young. He really did do it. Uh, he was he did a lot. Lee did a lot of engineering for everybody. Well, he was here, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. Lee was here. Yeah. Yeah, he, he had a studio. He had a little studio set up. He had an Allen and Heat console and a and a sixteen track. I Wasn't that up there it. over there, where that in that fork of the road there, he, he, where it went Broadway and went on yeah, down he Jackson had, Highway? Well, he had one in that. He had one in the building there with Lane. He was right. That's right. Next yeah, he did. It, but but at one time he was in Butch Johnson's, where Butch and, and Big Al put in over there in Sheffield. Uh, I, I try, close, it's close to the Dollar General. It's not Nashville. It might be Nashville Avenue, but I think it's a hair salon now. But I did some they stuff had with him. And it was there. upstairs over where that old bike shop is over there. Now I think it was his apartment. But he well, that's what the one was by by uh, in the same building as when Lane, Lane was in the that's old Powell Electronics building. Yeah, you know when they went out of business, I bought a I bought a monitor there, and that thing still works. Mm. That, that, that thing's 30 something years old. And we think we're old. Billy started when he was two. Can you believe that? I feel better already. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I might quit taking focus. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start taking it. It don't work, it believe don't. me. No. A gallon a day don't help nothing. Yeah. Well, that, uh, so uh, it might on normal yeah. people, but how's Greg Martinez doing? He's doing great. Good. He wants to come up here and record the next album. Yeah, I like him. To I me, like that's him. a good CD. Yeah, that thing smokes. We got a bunch of festivals to do now coming up. Well, everybody, everybody talks about who played that league, but I, uh, uh, you know, Kid Rock redid it on that, but uh, that uh, small town, big sound, and. And, uh, and they used the original track, and I asked Moose, who was producing, and who all played on that. And, and according to him, it was Junior Lowe. He was the only guitar player. And you know, Jimmy, of course, Jimmy didn't play that kind of guitar. Yeah, he's on on Betsy Brown's label, isn't he? On that Flying Raccoon label, you know who Greg's? He's uh, he is, but I think he's on the other. Uh, she uh, there may be two labels. Yeah. Out there. Wow. But he's a great singer. Yeah. Is, is Junior still around? Oh, yeah. 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 He playing? Billy no. had him. At, well, you remember you had him play some yeah, yeah. on Avalon. Just to, yeah, he's getting it, but uh, uh, he's getting a star in the Hall of Fame. So I, oh, he is. Yeah, we raised him. I raised the money to get him. What is it? Four thousand dollars? I think it's forty-five hundred. Man, it went up. Yeah, it used to be twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah, well, should have been in there a long time ago. Yeah. I ain't never going to get a star in there. Well, you, what? Well, you will. You just, you're going to have to, you're going to have to get you a sponsor. Is your old AA buddy still alive? Who's that? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's a sponsor. I think I can get hey, Social you, Security to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, turn it in. <laughs> <laughs> what we was talking about in the kitchen. Back when Ronnie the government, first, that, they waste enough money to pay for your star. It wouldn't be no problem at all. Yeah. I, I, well, I told Sandra, I said, how about just a triangle? <laughs> yeah. That'd be different. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody got one yeah. of them in there. Get it. For huh? high price. <laughs> <laughs> Two grand. That's right. Yeah, but, uh, 
That would be right for you, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Everybody else got a star, Ronnie's got a triangle. We was, <laughs> when I first met Ronnie, we was in a band together called Popeye, and you can't believe what kind of band that was. It was a good band, but it was a party band. <laughs> and and we come back to the studio in the middle of the night and random call. We did the thing before. What was the guy that did all them calls? That Roy sensory? Mercer? Yeah. yeah. Roy me, D. Mercer. Me and Ronnie was, <laughs> I don't know who we were. Right? I, don't, I can't remember that part of it, but boy, we sure called a lot of people and woke them up at midnight and asked what they was doing. And asked, Ronnie had asked them if, they, if he could return something or could we come over and pick up our to go mail now or <laughs> two or three o'clock in the morning yeah. and mike called a hotel and said uh do y'all let the animals in he said well is it pet friendly or something <laughs> and he said well what do you got he said well i got a chimpanzee but he's real smart no no we can't have no chimpanzee and we just went on and on and on about this chimpanzee all kinds of crap well it's amazing what you can do at two or three in the morning oh the it bus. is i gotta get out of here <laughs> thank you for doing is uh is it still filming yeah i hope